Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mojo, actually, now. Um, used to be Full Model Gamer, but this is the new channel, and I'm bringing you guys Bloodborne. So far, it is my absolute favorite game. I'm going to make a new character. It is oh, yeah. one of the best games oh, I've ever played, okay. absolutely, 100%. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But where's an outsider like yourself to begin? Easy, with a bit of yarn and blood of your own. But first, you'll need a contract. This is one of the most detailed freaking and the Souls games. This is like so detailed for the damn for the damn sorry. I get really excited for the dang um creation system. It's so amazing. It's really good. I'm alright, I'm not gonna talk about it too much, but it is really, really, really good for, for creation, especially in the Soul series. That's really good. Uh young Uh Profate I guess so this is that's a little bit more skill. I'm just gonna do military veteran. I've already made one of those military veteran. And I'm just gonna load up my other face here. Just gonna use this. That's pretty much what I was doing before. Uh, I guess I'm pretty much gonna make. I'm, I'm gonna use a different weapon than the other one, but I have to get weapons first and stuff. Like I said, I'm not gonna talk it up too much because there are problems with it, especially with this horrible loading time. Just why? But it is a really good game, and uh, people say it's hard, but I didn't have a lot of problems until I got up to Father Gascone, the second boss, basically. That's when I started having like a lot of trouble. Um, I actually recently beat him tonight. Um, and it's I'm liking it. I'm liking the lore so far. I'm reading a little bit on the lore and stuff, and it's Good. pretty cool. All signed and sealed. Why? Thank uh, you. Let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. Hmm. <laughs> Quit laughing, you old coot. No offense to old people, but he just creepy. He just creepy, man. Hello. Friends? Not friends? First question here, what set him on fire? Was it, you know, we wake up, I'm sure, plenty of people who are looking up these videos, you've probably already seen videos of, cell, uh, of other people. We wake up in Yosefka's clinic, and I'm really curious what set him on fire. Was it Yosefka? Was it that old guy? Um, <laughs> these things, cool, man, I like them. Found yourself a hunter. Maybe it was Yusefska who set him on fire. That'd be interesting. Alright, you wanna remove the hood? <laughs> Alright. Handwritten scrawl. Seek playable to transcend the hunt. And uh we'll begin we'll be finding those notes a lot more later on. Give us little lore bits and stuff like that.
which will be kind of cool. Alright, now, you don't... Now, there's a werewolf in this next room here. It's kind of like the equivalent to the Asylum Demon. And whatever you fight in... Demon Souls. Don't look. And you know how in those games you always have to die to the first boss and stuff? You don't have to, but I'm bad at the game. <laughs> so I'm probably going to. But I'm going to see if I can use the absolute heck out of the regain system here. Let's see if I can get him. Alright, that means we won't have to come back to beat him up, then. We'll have to come back. Visually, this is definitely the, the best looking Souls game. Visually, creatively. And some of you might argue that this isn't a Souls game, but... Eh, I mean, it pretty much is. It pretty much is. Quicksilver bullets. Get our stuff and run, man. Get our stuff and run. Can, um... God, I was trying to lift. I was trying to, like, jab. But I end up switching to my dual hands here. But, yeah. Alright, are you coming or going? Go. You heard me. You suck. This is a real attack. I love the new brutality in the game. It's really cool. Okay, so like I said, I just got past the second boss. And so I, I, I know where to go, basically. And yeah. Before I, before I move on, I just want to admire the scenery for a second. It's really good looking. I mean, look at that. Awesome setting. Let's get our... Let's actually talk to this guy real quick. Now, these little incense lamps, they mark where you can actually talk to people. Oh, you must be a hunter. And That's right. Not one from around here either. I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. You must have had a fine time of it. Yarnum has a special way of treating guests. Hmm? Like giving them blood? Oh, and I'm Gilbert. You must have. Well, I don't, but I'm with. <laughs> this town is cursed. There we go. Whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will be more harm than good. Now, what makes me curious about I him saying that this saying. place is cursed mm -hmm. is no, that is there but like outside of in, outside of Yarnum, is there an area that isn't infested with the um with the beasts? You know, like the werewolf we just saw and the blood and stuff? Across the valley to the east of Yarnum lies the town of the Healing Church, known as the Cathedral Ward. And deep within Cathedral Ward is the old Grand Cathedral, the birthplace of the Healing Church's special blood. Or so they say. Thanks. Yarnum, normally oh. they wouldn't let you near the place, but no, no, yeah. Ooh. the hunt is on tonight. Bell. This might be your chance. Yeah, I didn't realize he actually said more, so that's interesting. I feel kind of bad for him, he's just like coughing. Sitting in there coughing and hiding. And that's kind of the general sense you get from a lot of the a lot of the people you um, speak with in the first part of this game. It's just they're just kinda of stuck up in their stuck in their houses, you know, they're 
um, <clears throat> all afraid of hunters and beasts. I'm not sure exactly if they're afraid of hunters, but they are definitely afraid of the beasts. pick the sock laver. I love it. Too much. And I'm gonna pick the blunderbuss, because on my other build I picked a pistol, and I'm having a really difficult time with it. So, now we got the... Ooh, that's right, and nope. And I've... I'm almost running out of time here. Um, but before I go... See here. See if I can get this glitch to work. Oh, it's not working. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You can kind of see inside the doll's head, and it looks kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> thought that was kind of a funny glitch there that you can do. It's not really a glitch. It's just player models that are kind of weird and stuff. Um, and the next episode, we'll go back to that area. We'll kick some mage butt. All that good stuff. Alright, see you guys.